hey guys today welcome to my bathroom i'm going to show you guys demonstrate you how i actually disinfect my dermal rollers i've been getting so many requests i've been explaining you but i never show you so this is my dermal roller gin amber beauty 0.25 milliliter dermal roller i'm gonna demonstrate you guys how i actually disinfect Dermal roller. So I'm gonna be using uh, isoprofil alcohol. This is alcohol that you wanna use actually the other alcohols I'm not sure because this is what manufacturer tells me to recommend to my followers to my clients 70% um, this is what you wanna do like around No less I believe than 15 and um, and up you should like the best like I know concentration I don't know about chemistry, but my manufacturers say around 70 is like the best quality to use for disinfecting a dermal roller So how do you do this is so so simple. I open rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol over here is already open and I take the dermal roller like this just simple like this and I pour above the sink like this then I make sure I spin like a couple of times, again, couple of times, again, and that's it, guys. That's it. This is so simple. Basically, make sure you like, n you don't have to rinse. Make sure like you do this like an hour or two hours before dermal rolling. If you know you're going to use dermal roller, like for example, before going to bed, so around six, seven o'clock, you can disinfect it. How I do, I basically place in the case. I don't put top lid, I don't put on the dermal roller. So I place after that on the counter and I wait for a couple of hours to dry it. Nothing is going to happen, everything is good. If you still feel that like you're in an environmental where you have a lot of dust, you can place the lid like this on the top but not place like co completely like to close. You can place where is the header marola? You just place like that so it just doesn't build over there. Now, many people have been asking to use other products to disinfect their marola. I only recommend alcohol you can disinfect your skin with witch hazel with other products toner but for derma roller itself it's really 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 crucial to use alcohol um this is from public store you can get from direct stores like one dollar why you cannot soak this is my personal recommendation not from somewhere else like here i have 1.5 millimeter derma roller and i'm gonna show you guys why i do not recommend in the glass to soak because so many people been asking I do not recommend to soak their marola in this glass for example I will show you why imagine I'm gonna fill water over here like that and imagine some people been telling me that they soak their marola in alcohol like this for a half an hour look guys I'm gonna place this derma roller so guys why I do not recommend because needles over here are touching the bottom which makes your needles not so sharp anymore if you keep every single time each time before doing and after doing derma roller you use this derma roller for example let's say 10 times and you do this 20 times your needles after five or ten times like they get super super dull don't do this guys because enough for derma roller to be disinfected just to pour above the sink and that's it and this is why I don't know if you guys are going to see, but the bottom is over here. It's touching the bottom. You don't want your needles get duller. This is the reason why I never soak my dermarola in the glass. I only do this about the sink, place it here. You have to do this before using dermarola and after each time using dermarola. So I hope this guys helped. Um, if you have any questions, leave me in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram, Jin Amber X. I have a lot of videos on Insta stories. I, I post every single day some skincare tips, some news, healthcare um, tips and everything. So if you're interested, guys, follow me on Instagram. And that's it for today. This was Jin Amber. Bye-bye, guys. Rollers, and I cleansed them with acetone. And it left this residue on it. And I... I'm actually able to move this roller, but I'm kind of not feeling that being in my skin.